This is how you can draw an envelope that can be used as an email icon inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Dia Graphics. So here we are in Illustrator and the first thing we want to do is activate the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. After that, go to the transform panel. If it isn't open, you can go to window and open the transform panel right here. Then go to this drop down menu right here and uncheck align new objects to pixel grid. This will make our drawing more precise. Now call this layer outline, press enter and zoom in to the grid. Now choose the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that is 3 squares wide and 2 squares tall. Then select a stroke width that you like, uncheck the fill, choose the color you want for your stroke. And then go to Effect, go to Stylize, and go to Round Corners. From here you can give the corners a radius that you like. I will choose a radius that is 10 pixels. Click OK. Now choose the Pen tool and go to the upper left corner of the shape. From here go two squares out like this and start drawing from here. Then do the same in the other side as well. From here and two squares out. Then go to the middle of the rectangle and go two squares down and then simply connect the shape. And with this shape selected, go to effects and apply round corners to this one as well. And for the lower part of the envelope, go to the selection tool and while holding down the alt key to duplicate, duplicate this triangle and move it down. Then while holding down the shift key, rotate the triangle 180 degrees. Then with the keyboard, Simply notch this triangle down to the opposite position of the other triangle. Then select all the shapes, go to Object and click Expand Appearance. Then go to the Stroke menu and select Round Cap and Round Join and select the Shape Builder tool. Now while holding down the Alt key to subtract, subtract these spare shapes right here. Then release the Alt key and merge these two shapes together. So now we have the outline of the envelope. And if you don't want the shadow down here, you can simply color the envelope by choosing a fill color right here. But if you do want the shadow, we need to do a few steps before you can apply it. So go down to layers and copy the outline layer. Then call this copy color and drag it below the outlines. Then lock the outline and while having the color layer selected, for this illustration, we can simply reverse the stroke and the fill. Then give the fill a color that you like. I will choose a light yellow color. Now go to the layer panel again and lock the color layer and unlock the outline layer. Then create a new layer and call this one shadow. Now select the top shape of the envelope, go to the layer panel again and while holding down the alt key to duplicate, drag this tiny square down to the shadow layer. So now we have a copy of the triangle on the shadow layer and we can now lock the outline layer once again. So with this triangle selected on the shadow layer, go to object, go to expand, make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. Then go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in back. This means we now pasted a copy of this triangle underneath the first triangle. So select the color you want for your shadow and notch the triangle down a bit. Then go to this handle right here and drag it up a bit. Then look at the shadow and see if you like it. Keep adjusting like this until you're happy with the shadow. You can even do very minor adjustments if you disable the snap to grid feature. So go to view, go to hide grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Then with the alt key we can make the shape a bit thinner. When you are happy with the result, select both shapes, go to the shape builder tool and while holding down the alt key, simply delete all the shapes that you don't want leaving behind only the shadow that you want. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're interested in how to draw a globe icon as well, you can click on the video on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.